So whenever you have finished setting up uh, your events, the system takes care of initial confirmations, reminders, rescheduling. So it actually sends out emails that notify uh, the person who is booked with you. So we really also need to find out how this works and how to set up uh, templates. So for us to access these emails, we scroll down to where it says client email emails uh, we are configuring right now go to the client so whenever someone books with you there's an initial confirmation it's an email that comes through to you if we click there you'll see that this email contains um, the first uh, and last name uh, the type of event when the event is going to happen and the location whenever someone books this is how it comes out we can actually preview the template you notice that uh, this is how it comes out your name last name appointment type uh, the date and the time so it's a pre-made template that you can make use of it's always there by default um, necessarily you don't have to change anything unless you really want to create a customized um, uh, template uh, for your invitee this initial confirmation you can change some of the information for example here it says thank you your appointment has been successfully scheduled so you can add information to that. It might be a link. For example, you can say looking forward to seeing you. There. Uh, you can also add additional links. So for example, you can add uh, a link there by simply uh, maybe saying click here. Right. Uh, and there you go. And you click where it says link, set link just for example so that you see how it works uh, the text for the link here you can actually have it open in a new tab so when we say insert uh, so if we are to preview uh, this template you'll find that the information that we added also appears so you can actually modify the template in any way that you like you can actually delete any of this information and create your own information always remember um, only the meetings that appear here are the ones uh, on which the template applies. If the meeting is not added here, then the template will not apply. If, for example, you want to make this initial confirmation inactive, you don't want an initial confirmation sent, you simply move that event out of that confirmation. And as you can see, it's now inactive. But for now, we want to move it back to an, a confirmation that uh, is a default there. You also have an option to reminders. You can send up to three reminders on email. For example, in this case, there is one which is 24 hours, which is sent 24 hours before an ev event occurs. There is a template as well. So you'd find that the templates, how they are created and how they come out, they are all built in the same way. One thing that we also need to talk about is the email subject. You also have an option to change the information on the email subject. We're going to talk about uh, these variables uh, in a bit, but generally you can also change the email subject. You can even uh, put any information you want there and any variables that you'd want there. So in this case, you want to add an extra email. You simply click here where it says extra email. So it will send a 24 hour email, right? Uh, we can have it send maybe an email three hours before. Here it also says send this to clients only, but you can also have the same email sent to admins and clients at the same time. Once you do that, you save. So as you can see here, you now have a reminder going three hours before an appointment and one going 24 hours before an appointment. But there is a limit of only three reminders on email there are also cancellation emails you can also tailor make uh, the, the the message itself uh, you can delete everything here and just write a message uh, to say I uh, am sorry to see you go or something like that uh, just to provide the information to the client there's also an option for rescheduling if someone is to reschedule their appointment then the system automatically sends this message to say 
you have uh, rescheduled your appointment and these are the new details so remember uh, here where it says location it either can be zoom or a physical location or any integration that we've made uh, like uh, teams or google meet it will appear here and the, the link will actually appear there when someone books with you if you want to make follow-ups after you have finished uh, with a meeting you just come here to where it says follow-ups on these follow-ups you can create custom emails that for example you want to find out how the person felt about the meeting that you had or if they have additional questions or you want to send them links you create this email by customizing follow-up emails remember like we said you can just tailor make it in any way remember this box uh, you can type anything here dear and you write more information on that these email structures can just be built from scratch you can actually create one from scratch in this case we want to uh, maybe go and create an initial confirmation just to show you how the system works so if we go to an initial confirmation day uh, we want to create a new template right i'd already created a template there i'm just going to remove it but we are going to create a new one and we are going to assign the consultation meeting to that template so the system now gives us a default template but let's say we don't want any of this information uh, usually it's uh, created in HTML so if you're good with HTML this would be something that would be easy for you but rather if you are not good with HTML you can just type it as a normal document so we can say dear uh, or oh, hi and then we can insert the person's first name right thank you for booking then we can put the type of the meeting meeting with us so it, it this one would have said thank you for booking the consultation let's put the consultation meeting with us we can also put more information on that for example things like the date and the time you insert another field as an on the date right you can also uh, add more information about the duration uh, things like that but this one it's on the date and time uh, so when you insert these variables they will change according to the information that uh, is available to you so the nice thing is you can play around with this template you can put pictures you can put ordered lists you can put links to this you have many options to play around with this so let's just preview how it would look like as you can see dear thank you for doing this appointment with us the meeting is confirmed to be on tuesday 18 december 2022 so it puts the time for you so one other thing that we'd forgotten would be the location so in this case the field we're trying to look for uh, is not available the location there so what we do next is we simply click here where it says learn more about fields it will take you to this page and if you scroll down it will give you a list of other variables that uh, you can pull from the email uh, for the email so in this case we want the appointment location so we simply copy that and we paste so for example if there's a zoom meeting that's uh, going to happen then that information will be fed here the link to that zoom meeting is going to be there if it's a physical address it's going to be there this is generally how you create a template but make sure that whenever you create a template uh, you have to move originally this was the original initial confirmation but this is the other initial confirmation that i created um, here so you have to move that meeting into that uh, box to make sure that it's 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 connected to the right confirmation email uh, and lastly these are package certificate orders so whenever someone uh, receives a code that they need to use for a package uh, or a gift certificate then this is the email that they are going to receive you also have an option to add more information on this email just as i've shown you how to manipulate these emails so that's it that's how we uh, set up emails uh, that we receive as notifications when using uh, acuity or squarespace scheduling